Hello you and welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time here, allow me to introduce myself real quick. My name is Matthew Matthew Thomas, what have you learned about Thomas Thomas Tutorials? Last year, I shot a bunch of doors on my phone and last week I decided to edit those doors into a fun looping boomerang for my Instagram. This video kind of blew up. I got dozens of messages, hundreds of people checking out my accounts, thousands of views, and I thought, you know what, let's make a tutorial on how I made this because a lot of you called me a wizard and I assure you I am not. So, this is what I made. Looks pretty cool, looks pretty complicated, and I guess it is, but I'm going to run you through this step by step and you can follow along using this tutorial or the blog post uh, on my blog, which is a written tutorial for those of you that don't prefer video because sometimes you, you just kind of follow along, which will probably be the case with this video. Anyways, let's get going. Firstly, you need a bunch of doors. Now, as I mentioned, I shot this on my phone. You don't have to shoot this on your phone. You can shoot this on anything really. But at the time that I saw all these colorful doors, I only had my phone with me. So I used the on-screen guide to make sure that they were all lined up as accurately as possible found as many doors as I could with a bit of color to them, probably shot about 25 doors. When you've shot all your doors and you've had an awkward run-in or two with the people living behind said doors, it's time to move on to post-production. So, open up your After Effects and import your doors as a sequence. I was doing a sponsored post for Adobe with this edit, so to fit in my Instagram feed I needed a 4x5 video aspect ratio which results in 1080 by 1350 pixels. Then you're going to right click the doors layer, select time, go to time stretch and change it to 200%. This will slow down the playback by half so every frame is displayed twice. I opted for this half speed because if it's one door per frame, it was just a bit too fast and too glitchy and I wanted it to slow down just a little bit. Drag the scale down so the first door fits nicely in the frame and then enable keyframes by clicking on the chrono icon for scale, position and rotation. Make sure your rulers are visible by hitting command R and drag the rulers so that the corners line up with the corners of the first colored door. Move two frames to the next door and then adjust the scale and position so it matches up with this ruler guide. You're going to repeat that for all the doors, then move your playhead to the start of the timeline, click and drag to select all the keyframes you just generated, click Command C or Control C if you're on a PC, then move one frame to the right and hit Command V or Control V. Basically what we're doing is we're copy pasting the keyframe position, scale and rotations to the second frame for each door. Otherwise, the second frames will be moving into the next keyframe position and we don't want that because that's ugly. And also it just doesn't really work for this. Now, make a new composition from the first composition and triple the duration of this composition. Then duplicate the layer twice and drag it forward so you have a nice loop. Up next is adding the rainbow effect. Now, this rainbow effect is based on my time slice technique. This is a technique that I... I, get, I mean, I invented this workflow, but I didn't invent the technique. But this workflow is mine, and you can learn more about it using the video that is up here, or by going to my blog and checking that out. Pretty much, you're going to need two plugins. One is called Divide and Corner. The other one is called Shift Layers. One of them is a paid one. I forget which one, but you can find the links to both via my blog, which is linked down below. By the way, you don't actually need these plugins. You can do this manually, but these will make it so much more efficient to divide corner and then stagger your layers. Once you've got these plugins installed, you're going to create a new composition from the previous composition that we were working in, the one where you just triple duplicated, triplicated, triplicated the layer. Very simple, open dividing corner, set columns to 32 and rows to 1, hit divide, which you will see duplicates the layer and creates masks automatically, which generates these columns. Next up, we need to shift all these layers forward in time. So select all of the layers, then open shift layers plugin, select stagger and set the amount to one frame. As you can see, this shifts or staggers all these layers forward by one frame. What an incredible surprise. Move your playhead to the beginning, hit play, and as soon as the whole frame is filled, because of this staggering, sometimes your frame won't be complete, you're going to select the start and the end of the complete loop using B and N. These are in and out points for your timeline. Then right-click the play bar and select Trim Comp to Selection. This 
cuts it down to just the bit that we need. Just like that you have a clean looping rainbow door. Up next is we're going to paste this on top of the normal looping doors and then we're going to mask out just the rainbow bit. So create a new composition with the settings that we used before, drag both sequences in there, add the rainbow on top of the looping door sequence. With the rainbow layer selected, use the pen tool to draw a mask inside the door frame. Then duplicate the rainbow layer and drag it so it loops. Do the same with the underlying layer. Add an adjustment layer on top and apply some color grading. I boosted my contrast and saturation to really make those colors pop and I also had to adjust my white balance a little bit. Then you're going to export and upload your video to TikTok. You will generate millions of views and you will have an audience that doesn't care about you who you are because that is just the nature of this platform or at least that's how I understand it. Follow me on TikTok and we'll find out how this can grow into the future. This was quite a complex tutorial and very niche. I doubt very many of you will use this at all, but maybe you learned something from these techniques and you can use that in a future video. If you do, I would absolutely love to see it. So make sure to tag me. I'm Matt Joes on pretty much any social media platform, including TikTok. Make sure to follow me on there. That's pretty much it for today. It's a Friday night. It is quarter to 6 p.m. I think it's time for a drink and probably I should clean up my apartment because it's a bit of a mess. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a wonderful time. Have a great weekend or whenever this video launches. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any suggestions for future videos, tutorials or things you want to know, please drop that in the comments down below. Watch some of my previous work. You can click any of these things. You can check out my ebooks and yeah, that's pretty much it.